What's up guys? Quick video. We have clutch six, I think this one was. No, eight. Clutch eight hatched uh it's a single egg. This was the mahogany bamboo head clown to the orange dream head clown. So 25% chance of clown. She gave us seven boob eggs and one good egg. So not sure what's gonna get here, but we keep our fingers crossed and hope that we get lucky. Uh not that we get lucky, but that genetics work in our favor. Hopefully a visual clown. So let's dive right in. Coming down here. Hands have been cleaned. Uh, scissors have been cleaned. You can see it pipped. We've got a couple of slits here. Let's see what we got. The little bit I can see. It does not look like a clown. But we're going to we're gonna see. It's not a clown. It's 66% het clown. That is not a clown. Uh, there's some blushing on the back of the head. So it could possibly be mahogany. Definitely not bamboo. Maybe... OD? I'd have to see it more when it comes out. Let's see if you can see the side pattern there alright so we're gonna close this back up I'll put that little guy in the incubator let him come out of his egg naturally him or her but yeah not the best odds not the best thing but that's alright mom is already back on food doing great she's a great example of an orange dream I can actually show you her I don't know if she's going to show up as bright as she is, but she looks great. As you can see, she's thick. She's doing what she needs to do. About to retreat. Yep. <laughs> but Orange Dream Head Clown, Cupid, the guy I've shown off a bunch, who's the Mahogany Bamboo Head Clown, is the one who sired this. I think he was too small. This is the risk you take when you breed ball pythons too small. Uh, he never got above about 550 grams. And even still right now, he's just slightly above 600 grams. He was a picky eater, or is a picky eater for me. Um, and I, I've tried to push him to three girls. Uh, the other girl went fine. This one, not so much. So I, I expect it's a, uh, a sperm production issue, being his small size. Um, I'm actually only going to really, unless he really takes off on food, pair him once. And the power of backups. Power, power, power of backups. So... I'm actually, uh, my la as you saw, my latest purchase was a male, and I may still pick up one more, but for next year, uh, a clown male. Uh, I'll save up to get a powerhouse male, so we'll go from there. Uh, I do have two more clutches to still uh, hatch outside of this one, including the big double het to double het for VPI Xanthic Desert Ghost. So those videos will be uh, hopefully here soon in the next four or five days. And... Uh, I should be done. Uh, I'll have 63 hatchlings. A bunch more are going to go on Morph Market. I've been in no rush. I've been trying to decide to hold back situations with space and things like that. So they're just getting fed and growing. And when I'm ready, I'm going to post them all. Um, if you see anything that you like from these videos or anything like that, just reach out and let me know. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, like, or like, like share, subscribe, hit the bell notification. And... Uh, you know, give me on Instagram if you haven't already uh, subscribed there either. Uh, Perfectly Engineered Reptiles on Instagram. As always, guys, thank you and uh, stay tuned for the next Clutch video.